Hey everyone, my name is Joel Wanamaker. I'm a pastor, youth, youth and young adult pastor here at Cedarville First Assembly. And tonight I have a special Devo for you people. I want to tell you a story. I don't know if you guys ever watched this show. This is a very biblical show. It goes by the name of Parks and Recreation. And uh, in this show, there's this man played by Rob Lowe. He likes to exercise and he's always running, always doing things like that. And he's always got these vitamins, everything, vitamins all over his desk, taking vitamins all the time. But he always brags about his fitness and he keeps on doing this. He does this and does this and does this. Then all of a sudden he is struck with something that he never thought he'd ever have. He got the flu. He never thought he could have the flu because he thought he could control his surroundings by what he did with his body. He ran, he exercised more than anybody. He always took all these vitamins, but then all of a sudden his world was turned upside down when all of a sudden he got the flu. Isn't it crazy in a situation like this in this world, it goes to show that we don't have the control we think we have. Isn't it crazy that when we thought now we're doing all these things to try to control this situation, to try to control this disease, but yet we really can't do anything. It's out there, we don't see it, but how do we stop something that we can't control? Psalms 103 uh, says this, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives me of all my sins. Isn't that amazing that Jesus forgives us of all our sins? And not only does he forgive us of all of our sins, heals all our diseases. And then in Isaiah 53, it says this, by his stripes, we are healed. By his stripes, we are healed. And so we have to, in, in this situation that's going on right now, I want you to take a step back from what you're doing. And I want you, instead of trying to control the situation, I want you to receive what Jesus already did on the cross. Just as much as he wants to heal you or forgive you of your sins, the very next line it says, he wants to heal your diseases. Now we say, yes, thank you Jesus for forgiving my sins, but do we say that about our bodies as well? He wants to heal you of your diseases. In the Bible it says in Hebrews 4 that we should constantly pursue rest. And then in Psalms it tells us, be still, and know that I am God. Unless you're still, you won't have a God that can heal you. Because many times we try to control the situation. And when we have control, God doesn't have control. When we're working, we're not resting. It's only through our rest that God can work. So I wanna encourage you in this, in this time, in this situation in life, I know it seems scary and you're trying to do everything to protect your kids. You can do everything and still it could get you. But there is one thing that can cover you from all sickness and disease, and that is the finished work of Jesus. So what I want you to do right now, if you're in a season of fear, I want you to step back and be still and say, Jesus, you conquered this on the cross. I cannot conquer this, you conquered this. And I want you to give control back to him and say, Jesus, only you can save me from this. And I promise you, you're gonna see greater results than you ever could see if you try to do it in yourself. So use wisdom, be smart, use the wisdom that only can come from heaven, but at the same time, be still. Father, we thank you for what Jesus did. He came, he went to the cross, and he didn't just carry our sins, but he carried our sicknesses, he carried our pains, he carried our diseases. And God, I thank you that blood is covered over my house, it's over my body, it's over my children. Father, I thank you that we are protected, not because of what I'm doing, but because what have you have already done through your son, Jesus Christ. And right now I just pray, every single person that's listening, they just begin to step back and look at this situation and know that it's already finished. And I pray this over every person that's listening. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm going to leave you with one last quote. This is from Bill Johnson. He says this, many of us react to what the devil is doing instead of responding to what the father has already done and what the father is saying. So I encourage you, quit reacting what the devil is doing and just be still 
and listen to your Father's voice over you. Amen. You're blessed. You're healed. Goodbye.